welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Alive. And we have something very special because I have managed to unlock the other unique dinosaur. So, uh, last time we made a video on this was a couple of days ago, and we showcased the Ceratosaurus, or at least we saw it. Uh, we kind of showcased it because we came up against it in a battle, I think it was? Maybe it was, was it a bot or something? Either way, it was a really good one, and it just showed that, you know, it's, it's like, counter was very good, and it definitely has potential. However, it's a hard dinosaur to get, because literally the only way to get it, I think, is to dart it and you can only dart once uh, a week. I think they appear once a week in the wild and you've got to go out there and find it. And there's no way of knowing where they are. And they are incredibly rare. But, 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 as I will put up the footage right there, I think, I managed to find the other one. That is the Draco... Dracovinator? That one? Basically, it's just a referendum reskinned. <laughs> like, maybe not stats and attack wise, but animation and looks wise, 100%. Um, so I managed to find a way that allowed me to put the Dracovinator into the, um, the, what is it, the search. And I think this is something that they should do anyway, because it's, you, it's going to be hard enough to get players to get out there in the open, let alone, you know, do it to start with but if you have a chance of getting one of these rare dinosaurs oh, there's a high chance that someone's going to go out and actually go out of their way to get something that rare um so i i really don't know why it's it's locked out and it, there's only a couple of dinosaurs i think there's no unique i think you can get um but i managed to uh, encounter it got close I was like, oh god, don't you despawn, don't you despawn, don't do it. I had that moment, and then of course it spawned. And the darting process, because it's a ref, or like the Dilophosaur animation, you know, if, you're if you've darted lots of Dilo uh, Gen 2s, you know it's like head, body, tail. Head, body, tail. It just keeps on repeating. Um, and I was lucky enough to get loads of good hits. I got the most amount of direct hits I've ever gotten on a Unique, ever. Um, and actually... I needed a minimum of 250 to unlock it. I've got like 270. I, w I think the max you can get is like 310, 320. And I got so close. There's only three or four darts that I got 10s, 11s, or 12s on. Um, so here it is. The Dracovinator, the other unique dinosaur released at the same time. Does it have a frill? We're about to find out. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, fair dues and no frill. Okay, at least that, well, it's referendum without the frill. Even more boring. Yeah. <laughs> so this guy has 20% chance to crit, no armor, decent speed. Uh, I can't really tell about attack and health just at the moment because, you know, you can level those up some. Uh, but let's have a look at its moves. Tough group cunning strike. Uh, oh, wow, the game really didn't want me to have that, did it? It was like, <gasps> You broke it, what? Okay, so it's still in my creature tracker. Good, good, good. Right, now, I'm not going to remove that because if I remove it, I ain't going to be able to get that back in. <laughs> I also can't say about how I how I managed to get that. But I mean, if you're, you know, you're around on the community, discords and all that jazz, it, it, it's not hard to find. Um, and to be honest, I personally think that they should just have that as, you know, something that you can do. I've actually darted way more than I ever have in this game. I've just been, because I need Tarbosaur and I need loads of rares like the Metrodon, Sundisopterus, whatever it's called, in order to unlock loads of, um, like, ingredients for the hybrids. Uh, because now you need, even if you've got level 30 unique, you need the extra DNA to put the boosts on it. Uh, so here it is. I like the background. The background's nice on that card. Uh, so, tough group cunning strike. Hits all. Brilliant. That's great. Frustrating impact. I'm assuming, okay, impact. That's 1.5 damage. Uh, gives you a dodge for two turns, which is great. Reduces their attack. Cunning rampage, as we've seen. That's another ref move. Um, and cloaked rampage alert. So, you target, okay, reduce damage 30% for the opponent. And yourself, you get 75% chance to dodge of damage to, for two turns and two times on next attack. 
Interesting. So it's like cloak, but you also do an attack. So a bit like cautious strike was, I guess. It has a swap in destruction. Again, 100% immune to stun. Just get rid of stun at this point. Anything that's usable, it's always immune to stun. And if it's not, and you do get stunned, it's a feels bad. Get rid of stun. That's, that's all I got to say in that matter. Uh, rend and damage over time. So it can be spell reduced. It can be attack uh, reduced. So... Oh, 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 what's this? The creature is most active on the map during the day. Dracovinator is a swift bipedal predator. Large enough to take on powerful opponents and swift enough to evade their attacks. Dracovinator uses its dodge and distraction to remain on the attack. So what is this thing good for? Well, reducing attack. It's brilliant for it. It has no counter, just the swap in. So Ref does have a counter if it gets hit. It does reduce the damage. Um, it does have something that goes through, um, what do you call it? Through cloak. Really... It's, it doesn't feel as great as Ceratosaurus, uh, if, if I'm being truly honest here. Also, it's weird to see the animation without the frill coming out. So if we do this next one, it should be there. The frill should be out now. And it's not. It's so doing it, but what they've done is they've set the mesh to invisible. So it's there. It's 100% there, but it's not doing it. Because <laughs> I don't think they would have changed it. Now, because it's once a week, I think it's just clocked over. So I may be able to find it again. Again, I was very lucky uh, to find that creature. Um, one thing I had an idea, now I don't know about you guys, before we get into battles and stuff like that. Um, oh yeah, we want to we want to level up something. So I was, I was starting so many Tarbosaur DNA because I haven't put the level one on this guy yet because I need 200 for it, but we've got plenty of beta DNA. But I needed... Ooh, I can't get 20. Okay, we can do three... Three of these, that's good. Okay, I'm just gonna, just gonna turn my headphones down because that is... Oh, wait, I don't need to... Yeah, there we go. That's good. There, yeah, brilliant. Okay, so we'll do another one. We need 200 DNA in order to get it to uh, the first one. And then I think it's 300 DNA after that. Either way, I just want to get the extra attack on Comso, uh, Comso Raptor. Oh, God, that was horrible. Oh, no, I can't even get... I'm 10 off the 300. Actually, hold on. I might not be able to do five, but I can do a single one. There we go. So I've just been darting. Oh, thank you for the 10. Oh, that was that was generous of it, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so 300 for that. Uh, we're going to you. And we should... Okay, keep going. We need to get 200 at least. I think we're going to get 10s. I think we're going to get 10s. Completely lost my train of thought of what I was saying before as well. <laughs> oh, come on! Oh. Okay, so I can do four more attempts? Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'll I'll take the 10s. If you just give me a 50. That is just how this game... I don't even know where I got this bit of DNA from. It. <gasps> oh, there it is! I'll take that. I'll take that. It's 200. So even though, like, increasing uh, costs how much? <gasps> 100,000. I only have 342. Okay, so before we do that, I just want to see if I'm able to even uh, get this. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm so close to, like, the level 29 of this guy. Because if I get this level 29, I get help. I get attack. That's way better than just getting health on this guy. Um, so I think we'll save that. At the moment, my team's... It's all right. It's not the best spot. I feel as though... Like, again, I've got a level 26 of this thing. It does have boosts on it, but I feel like it's very situational. Uh, ones that I definitely wouldn't change. I love, I love the Tyrannometrodon. This guy is absolutely flawless. I could get... Oh my god, it's 200,000! Ooh, 300 for that! Oh, the silver? Why is the silver so much? It is absolutely redonkulous uh, how much I need for that. Okay, here we go. I just want to see the Dracovinator, you know, do a battle. Let's see. Oh, you know what I could do? I could do with the the uh, the events. Okay, so let's have a look. Yes, there it is. We very rarely get to see this arena. This is one of the better arenas, even though it's quite dark. Um, just because it's, it's such a rare one to see. <laughs> I never really get to see it. Okay, so a level 12 Gallimimus with boosts on it. So tough group cunning strike. This is basically an improved version of the uh, ref because I don't think the ref's a regular hit hits all opponents. So this one uh, should give us... I don't know what it gives us extra if we're below half health. A fear automatic swap. Oh, that's interesting. So we do all of it and also swap out. Hmm, okay. 
I think that was on us as well. So if we do that without being threatened, we go invisible. Ooh. Now, does that mean that we do extra damage? Because that would be amazing if we did. Okay, so we do 2,700 if we do this. Revenge impact. That's... Oh, my God. He almost kills. So 2,700. Does invisible give us the double attack? Oh, it does. Oh, it does. This thing's speedy. Ooh, it could be dangerous. Okay. Okay. I like it. I like it. Right. And I, I want to see it also in the beautiful... I don't know which course it is. Yes. Jurassic Ruins. Oh, it's always good we get to go back to Nublar. Yeah, Dracovinator. Against Majungasuchus. Uh, is this going to be an insta-kill? Oh, we could just go for this one. That's interesting. The fact that, that it gets the... You know, it gets a um, an impact. So it does 1.5 damage right off the bat. Also reduces the damage and also gets evasive... I'm trying to think what else does that. Comsoraptor. Comsoraptor gets that. Uh, we'll reduce its attack again. I guess if we really wanted to, um, we could have went for the Cloaky. But I'm kind of saving that. Oh, it'll do it next turn. Oh, God. Through dodge. <laughs> no! Vulnerable. Vulnerable. But we'll do Cloaked Rampage Alert. Whoosh! Oh, the damages. Then we get our Invisible. So it, this is, this thing's really good against something that can't go through dodge. It's got no precise moves um, and also is not immune to damage reduction because that... Oh, five, at level 21, 5,400. You put... like It doesn't have any priority moves, but you put lots of speed on this thing. <sighs> Could be deadly. As long as its opponent doesn't have something that can have priority. <laughs> Even then, maybe, as long as it's not priority. Like, best thing is the counter it. Priority and something to remove all uh, positive effects. But I have been doing the events. I have been grinding so much to try... Oh, look. Oh, yeah, just taunted me over there. Little Aranosaur. I've got you already level 15 because you were one of the creatures in my area that was always there when this game first launched. Um, and it was pretty decent at the time. So we'll go into here, the ticket, because I have now gone all the way, all the way to the end almost. I could spend 500 bucks to get a hawk skin and an emote that is just a reskin of the bear skin. Whoa. But I'm not going to do that. But what I will do is collect. Yes, 22 and another one, a hundo. Yes, so now we can level up that Ceratosaurus to level 23. Uh, still a way, way, ways off until it's definitely usable. Um, but 20, it's on 22. There it is. Okay. So we can get this guy a little bit higher. Let's see. So against 215 health and 63 attack. Gorgeous. And we're over halfway to 24. It, will this be a creature? Like the thing is, they added two new creatures in that were uniques, right? Of course they did. Of course they added those in, because why not? That's They've just put in the system that allows you to, you know, boost uniques. Two new creatures are uniques. Interesting. I, I see. I see what you're doing there. Also, again, the only way to get them, really, if you can't dart them, don't know the glitch, or, you know, you haven't got the event um, ticket thing, uh, season pass, is incubators. Oh, my God. Like, even that, 80 quid. You spend 80 quid on that, you haven't unlocked it. This guy, you spent another 80 quid on this. No, well, actually, it's basically 100 quid. You still haven't unlocked Ceratosaurus. Right, so we've got some of these to do. Uh, Hall of Fame, only one battle. Ooh, okay, okay. Let's put by rarity. Uh, this should be easy. I've never used the Ceratosaurus, so let's go. Let's go with that Ceratosaurus. Dracovinator. Uh, that's all we need. We'll get the duo out. It is at night. And like, like I said, you know, we saw that thing that said, oh, it comes out during the day for Dracovinator. Don't, don't think so. <laughs> Maybe it's like it hasn't been properly fixed yet. This will be good because Ceratosaurus actually has a counter to uh, do a lot of damage. So Lacerate should kill one. Is it immune to bleed? Thought so. I like how they didn't give the scorpion a unique effect. They called it poison and just made it bleed because it pretty much does the same thing. But if they do their counter to put Venom on you and then you do a bleed attack on something else, the bleed animation will come through. Sorry, the poison animation, even though you haven't used poison, which is very interesting. 
Oh. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's right. So the counter really makes it. The fact that it increases its attack and it can stack, I think, twice. So you get 20% extra attack. We could do this one, which cleanses ourselves, increased damage and armor. So, and that's, is it a priority? I think it is a priority, actually. Yeah, yeah, Ceratosaurus seems to be the better out of the two. The fact it has so many more resistances, its counter not only boosts its attack, but it goes through Cloak as well. Um, I think it's pretty tanky at the same time. So, yep, you're going to hit me. Um, I've got loads of 35% armor, 50% chance to crit, which is pretty decent. And there you go, straight. Just killed it with the counter. <laughs> so I think when they hit me... Oh, no. Okay, so I do my damage and then I get um, the extra buff from the attack. I thought I get hit, get buff, then attack, but no. Unfortunately. Will it do the bleed or the poison? Oh, do I need to be a crit? I think I might need to be a crit, actually. It's crit, not when you do bleeding moves. That shows the poison if you've already done the poison animation in a battle. There you have it. I mean... Frig oh, so does it does its counter also increase its armor? Damn, right off the bat, you could you could cleanse yourself, increase your armor, and then when you get hit, increase your attack and increase your armor again. Ooh, it, it has a lot of a lot of utility. I've been darting these guys. I haven't really darted too much. I've, I've only darted 15 out of 24 at the moment. Um but it's it's mainly been the not not Albertosaur, not the deer, it was the other one, the quadruped one. I can't remember what it is. It's like I don't know. It's that one. Either way, let's have a look. Let's do some battles. I've got no incubators. Let's just see if we can... Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Before we go anywhere, um, I need to add this to it. I mean, 10% health, what we get? We get basically 500 extra health. So once we put this on... Oh! Oh, it's a lot. Oh, no. Next is 100, 150,000 coin. Uh, and not only that, but I need 250 uh, DNA, but that's the one I really want. I want the extra attack because I get 260 extra attack on top of that, which is beautiful. I mean, the speed actually for this guy could be decent. Um, the health and attack was all I wanted on Mortem Rex, though. Um, oh, sorry. Um, what's it called? Not Mortem Rex. The Tyrannometrodon. Look, there's too many like made up dinosaurs. I can't remember them all, okay? There's too many. Usually, if I see my deck, I'm like, I've lost or I've won, depending on what I got. Just hoping for Tyran. If I get Tyranometrodon, a Scorpion, or a Comsoraptor, I feel quite confident. Uh, the only thing that could have made this worse is if my Rexy was the cloaky uh, mangy dog. Then I would have thought, I've lost. <laughs> I've seen this guy a couple of times. Oh, enhancements level two. Ooh. Although, saying that, this is not a good matchup for him. He does have a he does have that defense shattering rampage, as well as um, the definite alert frenzy, which does allow him to heal, I think. Yeah, only if it's threatened though. So this is good for me because I don't want to get him below that. I want to get to a point where he hits me, I counter him, and then I do a bunch of damage. So I'm actually just going to go for my big hit here. Yeah, 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 because I, maybe I didn't need to. Oh, it was a double hit. Honestly, these, I should have went for the other one. I shouldn't have wasted my shielding alert rampage. Ah, I'm just, I'm never confident. I very rarely face up against that flock. So it's hard for me to say. So this guy, I know that it has the nullifying. However, will that get rid of my armor? Oh, it does. Oh. What I could have done, I guess, is switched out, and then I would have forced him to have just gone for... Oh, no, 4,800. It still would have killed me. I get the feeling that Crocodile is probably my best bet here. I don't think I've got a great counter for this, though. The Hydra Bow is one of those that's... For my team, right now, not great. Comsoraptor, perfect to take it out. Um, most flocks, perfect to take it out. But he just wants to sit there, absorb some damage to get his attack up. Um, and I think his Fabled Fangs is a priority. Good. As long as he's faster than me. Because once he puts the bleed, that's when I want to attack. Yeah, the alert deception. So now he's going to do 4,100 and I'm kind of hoping that now he goes for... Well, what he may he may go for Precise Impact. I'm just going to go for it. I, oh, he didn't! No, he went for Precise! No! 
Oh, I stunned him, though. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I think. <laughs> he probably wants to go for nullifying now. What were the chances of that? 25%. And not only that, I don't even think it's 100%. Oh, no, it is 100% chance of stun. So 25% chance I would have hit him there. Uh, has he still got his dodge? He's still got his dodge. Um, yeah, there's... That's what I was worried about. Luckily, we stalled him enough that it wasn't a guaranteed crit, basically. Um, there it is. Okay. So, he wants to have something to lock me in here. Compsoraptor would be good, because I think that goes through armor. Um, although 3,600 is a bit of an ask, I think. Uh, Referantum. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. I'll go for Trano Valkyrie. I don't mind if Trano Valkyrie dies, because... Ref doesn't have a way to heal itself. So all damage that's done to it will stay onto it. And also, if he can kill my Trino Valkyrie, I'll just switch to my crocodile. And that's it. Game. He can't switch out at that point. Oh, the damage do I... Oh, I'm immune to bleed. That's good. That's good. It's all good. <laughs> we got this. Robbing... My only problem... I'm hoping that the power doesn't come on like 15% and then it kicks me or like messes with my game. Uh, I guess I could do this one now. Oh, he's definitely dead. But why? I think you're dead either way. Yeah. Unless it's not two times damage. Oh, he saved himself. He saved himself. Okay. Now, is he quicker? He is quicker. I was going to say, if I'm quicker, I'll switch out to Crocodile. Expecting him to switch because I think he will switch now. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, he's going for it. Oh. Oh, he got the crit! I don't think he would have killed me without that crit. Okay, that's it. Game. Well done. Oh, there's the power. There's the power. 10%. Okay. So, I guess we could just go for that just in case. But, I mean, that was pretty much GG. When he didn't get out his ref at that point. Yeah. Oh, we even got the stun again on a set 25%. Get rid of it, man. I, I want to win by me winning, not by, you know... Getting the lucky stun. Ah. I mean, it, it worked for a while, but, you know, the meta changes for a reason. Super distraction with the crit. Only 20%. Lower than me stunning him and he got it. Um, but he doesn't remove my attack boost, so... Unfortunately, that is GG. But, I mean, well played. Well played. Well played. I didn't think I was going to win with that deck. <laughs> I really didn't. Hey, but you never know. Never know when it's going. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to make this quick short video while I work on ooh, some really complicated other ones that take a lot of time. Um, you know, just get some content out for the weekday and to showcase the Dracovenator. Is it good? Yes, but not as good as a Ceratosaurus. If you do have a chance to really choose one, I would, I would highly go for the Ceratosaurus. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye-bye.